Hello, it's Louisa Church here from Collective Motion Dance. So I would like to introduce this week's story. You Can't Take an Elephant on the Bus by Patricia Cleveland Peck. So this is a real fun story where different animals try to get on different modes of transport. You can't take an elephant on a bus. It would simply cause quite a fuss. Elephants' bottoms are heavy and fat and would certainly squash the seats quite flat. Can you see all of the people's reactions there? So some of them are scared, some of them are surprised and some of them are meaning business. So that bus driver is very much, no, no, elephant, you're not coming aboard. And some are being a little bit cheeky. So this man is tapping his walking stick on the elephant's bottom. And don't sit a monkey in a shopping trolley, for monkeys are naughty and find it jolly to snatch your shopping and chuck it about. No, leave monkey at home when you go out. Very good advice. Nor should a tiger travel by train. Think of the panic, think of the pain. Tigers are built to spring and to leap. Think of the passengers half asleep. I don't know that I would be able to sleep with a tiger next to me, would you? And don't hail a taxi if the driver's a seal. With such slippery flippers, he can't grasp the wheel. The taxi will slither and probably swerve, then throw everyone out at the very next curve. Oh dear, these people have fallen out of the taxi. He's even lost his camera. A centipede on roller skates is rather bizarre. With a hundred feet, he'll go fast and go far. But put on his boots would take him an age. He'd get in a temper. He'd get in a rage. I'd be pretty frustrated putting on a hundred pairs of boots, wouldn't you? Wonder what animal's next. And don't put a camel in a sailing boat. It's far too tricky to keep afloat. His hump and his feet would, I think, capsize the vessel and make it sink. Does look rather jolly in his little sailor's hat though, doesn't he? See all the different coloured blocks there? What colours can you see? A giraffe in an aeroplane wouldn't be right. The roof of the plane just hasn't the height. With legs and a neck so bony and long, a giraffe on a plane would simply be wrong. And don't ask a whale to ride a bike. Just imagine what it would be like without a bottom to sit on the seat. How would he pedal without any feet? It's a very good question. A pig on a skateboard, another mistake. He'd be too heavy, it would probably break. Or his trotters would totter and able to grip and up and over the skateboard would flip. And I wouldn't put a hippo in a hot air balloon. The basket's too small, there wouldn't be room. And if it did fly with the hippo's great weight, it would come crashing down in a terrible state. Oh dear. What transport would be next, do you think? An ice cream van. And never let a bear near an ice cream van. Bears gobble up ice cream as fast as they can. And if they're stopped, they get annoyed. And an angry bear is one to avoid. Very good advice there. I wouldn't like to meet an angry bear, would you? See the ice cream man's run away. I think I would as well. Then how can we travel, the animals shout, 
How can we animals get carried about? What's the best vehicle? We haven't a clue. Well, I've got an idea. How about you? How should the animals travel? In a rocket? In a dumper truck? On a scooter? What do you think? In a wheelbarrow? Mm, not sure. Should we find out? Yes! Animals on roller coasters are good for a laugh. There's room for everyone, even giraffe. So it's goodbye to skateboards, balloons and that bus. For now we have a conveyance that suits all of us. So I look forward to exploring this silly story about transport and animals with you very, very soon. Bye for now.